In this video, I'm going to share with you how to manage sleeping bag moisture buildup, five tips for the beginner so you don't have a soaking wet sleeping bag when you're out camping, hiking, climbing, or doing whatever you're doing. This question is from Paul B. It was on my video, how to get the correct sleeping bag fit for the beginner. Check out the link, totally helpful video here. But Paul B writes, will moisture build up in a bag be an issue from damp clothes? That is a huge thing, Paul B. Thank you very much for asking that question because I also have a video of how to dry your clothes. Check out the links in the description. Everything is in the description. But check out this video here where you can learn how to do this whole technique. There's a lot to it. But the question of preventing that moisture buildup in your sleeping bag is a subtly different thing. Five points, here we go. The first point is your item cannot be soaked. If you have a completely soaked item, where you literally can pour water on your boot liner or your liner gloves or your balaclava or your mittens or whatever, and they won't get any wetter, you have a real problem because the sleeping bag technique to dry clothes won't work because you do not have enough body heat. You're worth 100, a 100 watt light bulb, by the way. So if you've got the lighting over here, it's 500 watts. And you are only worth a 100 watt light bulb. Think easy bake oven times two and a half. So if your clothes are completely soaked, you need to wring those bad boys out and get them as dry as you can before you ever put them in your sleeping bag because once you get the down in your sleeping bag wet, you're going to have a real serious problem. That brings us to point number two. Anytime you are at camp and the sun is out and it is safe to do so, get your sleeping bag completely unzipped, get that bad boy or bad girl into the sun and let it dry out completely. The goal is to have this sleeping bag completely toasty and like, oh, 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 oh yeah, it makes a big difference. When I was climbing on Denali, if you want to read what it's like to climb on Denali solo, Lost at Windy Corner, great book. Of course I wrote it, so I always think it's great, but that aside, learn what it's actually like to deal with that. But getting your sleeping bag out and dry can make a huge difference. It totally changed how I was expeditioning when I went to the South Pole, skied solo to the South Pole. I'm like a total loner, aren't I? But in three months, my sleeping bag was as dry as it ever was when I first started. Key points in there, and I'll show you the ultimate book that has all these answers in it. But make sure you dry your sleeping bag out, not only to keep the down dry or synthetic if you're using synthetic, but by getting a little bit of UV on the bacteria from your gross stinking body that hasn't taken a shower in three weeks or three months, that UV will also help kill the bacteria, which reduces stink, which reduces skin, skin issues, and that will make a big, big difference for you. The corollary of that is point number three, is make sure that whenever possible, you sun dry your clothing items rather than leaving them in the tent to kind of founder, unless your tent is 110 degrees, like it was when I was on Denali in camp uh, at 11,200 feet, it was literally 105 degrees in my tent. It was awful. But I made sure to put all my clothes out where I could so I could safely not lose them or have them blown away, and I get my items out in the sun. Now, yes, there is a consideration of UV damage. Oh, you gotta worry about that. That is a big thing. But having cold, soaking wet clothes and dealing with frostbite and misery is much more important than considering the long-term UV degradation of the items that you're bringing with you. So that is a big factor is get everything out. You can either use the porthole of your tent door, but dry your items out in the sun. Now, this brings us to the next step of preventing this moisture buildup in your sleeping bag, whether it's your balaclava or anything else, is when you arrive at camp and you get your tent set up, make sure you get your water melting from the snow and the whole thing, get your gear and start stuffing it in your jacket. Get everything in there because the goal is you're still warm from outdoors, hopefully. You get your gear in there, you start drying it out very quickly before you get in your sleeping bag to sleep through the night. 
to attempt to dry your gear out, especially if things are a lot warmer. If you get your gear in your jacket and start stuffing it in there, it might feel a little bit awkward, but by getting that gear in there and drying out your gear, it will make a big difference. By the way, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you a story of how this actually worked out for somebody on a climb I was on. So this fourth, fourth point is super critical in getting your clothes drying process especially if they're absolutely soaked, it makes a huge, huge difference. The fifth pointer here, and I'll have a bonus pointer here, is the hot water bottle. The hot water bottle is absolutely key. You get this bad boy boiling hot at whatever altitude or temperature you're at, it will make a huge difference. Why is that? Because who cares if you have a hot water bottle, but you're soaking liner boots, from your super butt heavy double mountaineering boots are probably going to be wet from you slogging up the mountain. So you get this hot water bottle going full of boiling water, you drop that bad boy in there, and in moments, especially when it's super cold, you'll start seeing steam evacuate from the wet clothing item and the clothing item will start to dry. I've done that with my gloves too. If they're super, super wet, I get this steaming hot water bottle in there and immediately steam starts evaporating here. So the process of actually drying your clothes in the sleeping bag happens from this. You are roughly equivalent to a 100 watt sleeping, or 100 watt sleeping bag, a 100 watt light bulb. That's literally all we are worth is 100 watts of an incandescent, this is LED, but incandescent light from the heat of that bulb, that's all you are worth. So you don't have a lot of heat to drive that moisture out. But when you do, it makes a big, big difference in keeping your sleeping bag totally dry. So here's the key, here's the story. I was climbing on Kilimanjaro, I had a climbing team. We had like 50 people, it was crazy. I mean, porters, guides, leaders, climbers, nuts. But one of the guys on day two or day three, he actually came up to me and asked, hey, you know, you've done this a lot. And I said, yeah, you know, no big deal. And he asked me, dude, my shoes are completely soaked. My socks are completely soaked from sweat. What do I do? Plus it had been raining. So, I mean, he was drenched. Said, okay, you need to completely wring those things out. If it's wet, get in a place where you can wring that sucker out. And I told him exactly do this, put your clothes inside of your jacket and start steaming them out. And he said, really? Yeah, yeah. But then I told him, here's the kicker. By putting your clothes in your sleeping bag when they're only sweat moistened, they will actually dry overnight. And he looked at me like, and I told him, dude, I'm not trying to mess with you. You're a climbing partner. This is not one of those ha ha, I got you jokes. I'm not that way. I mean, that's totally cruel to have somebody completely soaked on a climb. I mean, he'd hate me and he'd probably kick me off the mountain or something. But the point here is that I told him that no, this technique totally works for drying clothes. And thank you, Paul B, for the answer to this question, is the heat from your body will actually force the moisture to transport through the sleeping bag, the material, and then the outer shell, and completely go away so you can stay dry and warm. So that is how to, uh, let's see, was it, uh, how to prevent sleeping bag moisture buildup tips for beginners. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Please check out links in the description to my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost in Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition One, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, the Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, the most crucial knots to know, and my 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show, links below, World Beyond, and the show, Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment in the video and subscribe to the channel so you can smell more stinky boot liners.